Hey everyone, welcome back to Corpse of Discovery, where we play an astronaut who's stranded off Earth on alien planets and he's unable to get back to his family. Now in the last episode we found out he's not able to get back to his family and the core have basically abandoned him on these planets unless he can find something of use. Now the radiation must be affecting you, let's have a look what this says. Somehow you are back in the base, perhaps it was a medical bot, maybe it goes into storage, maybe try something else to get you home. Uh-huh. Major, we I trust you have had a successful thing. landing. As you are just here for your final mission, please get down to the main computer to be briefed. Thank you. Okay, what if you looked for some exotic life forms? The Corps will have to send a shuttle if you make a discovery of epic proportion. Yes, indeed they will, so if I discover something cool, they will have to come and rescue me, right? Okay, that's the plan, I suppose. There's my little, uh, there's my little suit. Now, finding out that I'm not able to get back to my family, and in the first episode we saw a heartfelt message from them about how much they're missing me, we saw our children, it was beautiful. Now, I'm, I really like this game because of that story. Now, let's go over here where it's asking me to, to the main computer. Okay, through this door, through this door, objective is over here. Now, you're not, you're not able to run indoors. If you listen to the music, it sounds quite oppressive, quite eerie, like... You're, you are, you're alone on, on this off-world. Can you imagine what that's like? I mean, you're just stranded with no one else to look after you. If anything happens, you're on your own. The corpse have disowned me. All right, now we go through here. Aha, uh -huh, now we're going to the main computer. Look at these computer decks. This is the resource library. New discoveries are being made each day by our greatest explorers. This planet has been identified as having a high probability of being inhabited by complex life forms. Ooh, okay. Com Please locate your Ava unit, and it will help you find and identify these life forms. Okay, so Ava, who ran out of batteries in our last episode, is going to help us find alien life forms, I suppose. Ferdinand Magellan's expedition was the first to circumnavigate the Earth and the first to navigate the Strait in South America connecting the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, and Magellan's crew discovered the Philippines to the west. Ooh. Magellan exploration skills have been acknowledged in the naming of objects outside of Earth. The Magellan probe that surveyed Venus before space travel allowed it to be viewed firsthand. The Magellanic clouds now both fully map dwarf galaxies. The twin lunar craters on Earth's moon, Magellan's and Magellan's A, and the Martian crater of Magellan's. Magellan's crew were the first to note many new animals to Western society, including the penguin and guanco. Magellan's discoveries made him famous for all history. Never heard of the guanco, but penguins, sure, I love penguins. Alright, so, thanks for that, that was interesting. Why are they telling us about Magellan? I'm going to be the new Magellan. Okay, let's go here. This will tell us our objective. Press E to start mission. Uploading details. Okay. I wonder what kind of creatures are going to be on this planet. What do you think, guys? Greetings, Major, and welcome to Tolores. As you know, your mission is identify new life form species. Once you complete this mission, you will be able to retire and devote yourself to family. The Corps values your deep commitment and loyalty and has done everything possible to support your success. Lies. A fully charged Corps ABA unit has been deployed to assist you in meeting the goals of your mission. Good luck, Major. We're confident you will succeed and will return to Earth safely to be united with your loving family. Okay. Thank you for that. So off we go out onto the alien landscape once more. I want to know what kind of creatures we're going to find. This is going to be awesome. Let's put, us, put our suit on and become explorers much like Magellan. Magellan. Magellan? Magellan. Magellan sounds better, I think. Okay, here we go. We've got our radiation shield opening the airlock. Whoa, look at that. That looks neat. It's a totally different landscape, though. How comes it's changed? To the last episode. This is crazy. There's Ava. Hey, Ava. That's my only companion on this Hello. planet. I am the Ava Software Version 721. Okay. I am here to help you complete the parameters of your mission. I can offer technical assistance and mission direction. Retrieving mission and personal files. Hello, Major. 
Are you ready to begin our mission to find and document complex local life? I am. I want to find what aliens we have. Has already found several, but we need more granularity. More granularity, you say? Major, please find the detector map tool, and we can get started on this mission. We can depart whenever you are ready. Okay, looks like the... Uh, this kind of reminds me of Kerbal Space Program. I built a base like this in Kerbals. <laughs> so we've got to find our detector. And it's all the way around the other side of my base. Hmm. It would be easier if they put it right next to me, but sure. What? How do I get there? Okay, run around the outside of my base, I suppose. There we go. The detector should be over here, is it? There it is. Press E to pick up the detector. We're ready to find alien life forms. The detector map in your hands is quite a complicated machine. Okay. You can see where you are and the indicator where your objective is. Mm -hmm. Red bubbles on the map are anomalies you should check out. My batteries have enough energy to assist you for a limited amount of time. So let's get going and see what we can find with the detector map tool. Okay, show me the way, Ava. I will find whatever aliens you want. So it looks like it's over there. The red arrow is indicating go over there. Now the graphical style on this game is kind of interesting. It, it's aiming to be sort of high fidelity, but I don't know. I guess the the helmet you're wearing kind of takes away from that. Now the game is, is still a bit stuttery right now, so I'm, I'm not sure why that is. Okay, we're going down. And we landed safely, thank the lord. Okay, so it should be over here. Don't see any aliens yet, do you guys? Hmm, what is up here? Look at these roots. I wonder what they are. Weird alien trees or something. Hmm. Could be a giant bumblebee nest in them, you never know. So the red arrow is definitely pointing over here. There doesn't seem to be any radiation affecting me on this planet. Ooh! Hello! What are you, sir? It's draining my radiation shield! Ah! Leave me alone! What? That's weird. Taking me back to here. Why? That's really weird. We had no radiation exposure whatsoever, and then that creature drained it. So we've got alien creatures who drain our radiation. Weird. Okay. So we need to head straight this way, but hopefully I won't encounter another one of those creatures. I wonder if I can go around this way rather than going down there, because that is maybe where he lives, that guy. I'll give this creature a temporary Latin name until you officially name it. Okay. Lepus Magna Oribus. This is a remarkable discovery. It is adorable. Look at those large eyes. Where is it? Did oh. you know that explorers who discover life forms get to name those life forms? When this life form is entered into the Universal Taxonomy Database, not only will your name be entered as the discoverer of record, but you can give it whatever name you want. It's basically a rabbit. It will always be remembered. Isn't that wonderful? It's the least the core can do for people such as yourself, who dare to achieve what most would never dream of. Here's a helpful update from your HR core. Subscribe to our new lecture series, The Greats, and hear talks from the legendary core explorers, such as Steve, Jazzy Steve, <laughs> Ephraim Purple, and Katie. To be the best, you must learn from the best. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. We found a rabbit. Are we on Earth? Doesn't look like Earth, but feels like we... Wow! Look at that! It's a dinosaur! Gygus ossicolatum quantora. This one is huge. It is. It's not even moving. What a great specimen. I'm not saying you should take off your helmet, but my olfactory senses indicate you are really missing out on the scent it is emitting. <laughs> I bet it's farting. I have done a statistical analysis of explorers who have discovered and named new life forms all across the galaxy. Do you know what they have in common? A majority of them were single. They did not have domestic or life partners, children or other dependents. I wonder if this correlation is significant. Does having a family prevent you from achieving something glorious? What? No way! Major, do you think about what you ah! to accomplish if your thoughts did not constantly... Hey, I got sucked up! ...kind on Earth who depend on you. I like talking about my family sort of distracting me from achieving everything I can. No way, my family are like my motivation. I'm trying to get back to them. Surely that's motivation enough, right? Okay, it looks like we don't want to like touch any of these big blobs or big 
structures because they sort of suck the life out of you. I don't even know if these giant roots or trees or whatever they are, maybe they can cause my radiation shield to deplete. I'm guessing that's like how it's indicating that you're failing by like that black screen coming, your radiation shield depleting completely and then uh, yeah, I guess. Looks like I have to be careful here too. Wow, I do like the vegetation. I'm kind of interested. Why do they keep saying, you know, like, I'm supposed to be this great explorer and, you know, I'm not doing it good enough because, I'm, you know, my family are holding me back. It's like, what? I don't know what to make of that. What do you guys think? What's your interpretation? Okay, this looks like the next life form right here. No, that's just something I need to avoid by, by the looks of it. That uh, giant exclamation mark was probably a clue, I would imagine. Wow! Jumping! Boom! Double jumping like a boss. Aha, the life form is here. 100 clicks away. 100 meters, shall we say. Could be 100 centimeters. I could be living in an existential dream. Life form. There it is. Wow! Myelis Ornatus Lucius. Yikes! Don't want to get too close to this man. Really? Looks quite dangerous. It does. Look at the size of that horn. He's you horny. You can still enjoy its majestic <laughs> demeanor from a distance. After our previous conversation in my spare cycles, I did additional statistical analysis on historical data, and I found something that I think is interesting and relevant to the mission as well as future wow. missions. I was trying to find records of people who became famous and celebrated for their devotion to their family, and I was not able to find very many. In fact, most of the results returned by my search were of fictional characters featured in situation comedies broadcast on television <laughs> during the second half of the 20th century. <laughs> they sure don't make them like that anymore, do they? They don't. They don't make Friends or Fraser or any of those good shows anymore. Although Big Bang Theory runs it a close second, third. Big Bang Theory is awesome. I'm just currently watching season eight right now. I'm really right near the end. Are they making a season nine? If anybody knows, let me know, because I'm not sure. I think they've signed up for it, but I can't find it, um, or I haven't searched for it yet on the internet, so the internet is the fountain of all knowledge. Now, I wonder how many of these creatures I need to find. I'm heading, heading towards the next one. There's these giant cliffs, they're quite hard to traverse. Okay, let's go down here, and it seems to be over this way. This guy, like, is so super fit, he just keeps running. I hold down shift and he's just like, yeah, I got this. I'm just gonna run so far. I'm a super marathon runner. Aha, now the next life form is very close. Up here. So, so far we've found a rabbit, like a big dinosaur, and a big sort of rhino with a giant horn. Very Earth-like in their, in their demeanor. Or in their looks. Now, the next thing, ah, it's further up here, I think. Yeah, go a bit more further this way. What do you guys think of this game? I don't quite know what to make of it. I'm a bit puzzled, bamboozled, kaflummoxed. I'm just like, what? Form. Ugh, landed on a giant piece of wood. Ugh, that went up my butt. Ow. Aha. Wow. Gyra Ossum Altus. This one is quite lovely. Is it? I'm sure the people on Earth would love it. I'm sure they would. It looks like a giraffe with less colour. Hitherto unknown life forms. The study of these life forms will yield untold benefit to mankind, and answer many questions that have plagued scientists for centuries. I'm sure they will. What you have achieved on this planet will ensure that you become a legendary explorer, to be mentioned in the same breath as Marco Polo, Christopher Columbus, Ferdinand Magellan. John Smith, okay, Neil so I've achieved Peter greatness Wyatt, by finding all these weird creatures and alien planets, but that doesn't, that also means I'm not getting to see my family. Now, what would you prefer? Would you prefer, guys, to... Which means you will die here alone. What? I'm going to die here? I think this is how every great explorer anyway. should die, don't you? No, no, would I'm you prefer trying to, to talk here, Ava. What the hell? Surrounded by loved ones, but quickly forgotten by the world. No, you have a much greater destiny. To die here and to be eaten by one of your discoveries, <laughs> and not necessarily in that order. Congratulations, Major. I only wish I could be online to witness you being devoured by history. What? Ava? That's not very nice. Ava's so cold and heartless. She's like, yeah, I mean, you're just going to get eaten by one of your 
discoveries and she just wants to be there to see me get eaten by them. What the hell, Ava? You're supposed to be kind and helpful. But you're just robotic. I've got no human contact whatsoever on these planets. I miss my family. I miss them terribly. I just want to go home. I wish I wasn't an astronaut. I'm going to run to this red triangle thing over here and, and hopefully that will be like safety or something. Alright guys, so it looks like I have to climb these steps that I've managed to find in order to get to the final life form. Now I'm going to try and do this my, my best, the best that I can because I've been running around for a lot trying to figure out how to get up here. This is the closest thing I've found and we failed! No! Alright guys, so it looks like I need to climb up these steps that the game has helpfully placed here for me in order to get to the final life form, who appears to be up there, 129 away. So, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, we made it. Alright, cool. Now we're going to have to take a run for this one, I think. We made it. There's another platform just ahead of us. Come on, Mr. Astronaut, you can do this. How on earth? Aha, up here. And then where? Where's the next platform? There? That looks really high. Okay, we're going to give it a go. Yeah, he made it. Sweet. And this next one. Rah, jumping Jack Flash. Yeah, we made it. I think we made it to the top. Sweet. Ow, something just blew me up in the air and sucked all my radiation shield out of me. Woohoo, life form, here I come. Da -na -na -na. Wonder what we're going to have up here. What do you think? Ooh, looks like an elk or a stag or a deer. Hello. It is beautiful. It is indeed. Unfortunately, you cannot record or share it. It is unclear if Ava's recorded ones were sent. You are feeling dizzy. No, happiness is a decision. No, it isn't. I just want to always be happy. Ah well, guys, that ends episode two. Thank you for joining me. It was a bit of a mammoth journey, which um, I managed to edit down into a nice nugget of brilliant exploration. So uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.